Hi, I'm Eric B. I play drums. Lately I've been putting together a lean portable acoustic kit for busking and stuff like that. Now it's centered around a pure cushion kit, so that takes care of the portability for the drums themselves, but there's all the extra hardware, bass pedal, hi-hat stand, other cymbal stands, and you still need a seat. So that brings us to the subject of a canister throne. Now a canister throne is a hollow cylinder with a cushion on one end, so you sit on it to play, and then it's hollow so you can fill it with gear and carry it like a trap case. Pretty slick. Uh, now the trouble is that I can't find an affordable one of those. Uh, there is a nice adjustable canister throne from one of the big names, Something Workshop. Um, but it costs about $1,000. So if you have a grand to spend on a throne, go ahead and get that one because it is a beautiful piece of gear. If you don't have a thousand bucks, then keep watching because I'm going to show you an adjustable canister throne that I made on the cheap uh, for less than about 40 bucks. So we'll check it out first and then I'll tell you a little bit more about how I made it. Here it is. It's fairly obvious I just scrounged up two five gallon buckets. Try to get clean ones if you can and make sure one has a lid. I bought a throne seat top on eBay, just the top only, for about 15 bucks plus a little bit of shipping. And then a few items from the hardware store. We got wing nuts, thumb screws, nuts, washers, um, some strap, one inch strap, strap buckles, a strap slider. Um, pretty cheap stuff. And then here, um, an old scrap of sprinkler system tubing. But al almost any scrap of pipe or tubing will work here. This is just your carrying handle. All right, so <clears throat> cutting off the bottom of the inner bucket gives you more storage space. And then drill holes in the buckets, and, you know, fasten them together with the hardware. That gives you your height adjustment. Okay, so then attach the seat top to the bucket lid like this. I just took this part of mounting flange off of the seat, screw it to the bucket lid just with the hardware that it came with. And set it on there, and strap it in for carrying, and you're in business. Now, as is, this adjusts from about 21 inches to 26 inches. But you could extend that on the high end by you know, drilling these holes in different places. Uh, on the low end, to make it shorter, you'd probably have to cut the top off of the inner bucket, but that's totally doable. So I got rid of the handles from both buckets. I used an ordinary lumber hand saw to cut the bottom off the ugliest bucket, and that's the inside one. And then I marked a series of holes. These are the adjustment points, um, one inch apart, and then offset by one inch. Now, you could just skip the offset and put them all on the line, but I was afraid that it would somehow weaken the bucket and that it would crack or split there. So I don't know if you really need to do the offsetting. Um, but it's done three times around the bucket like that, every 120 degrees. Um, now for the other bucket, you just have to drill one hole, you know, three times around the bucket. Um, this one I made it a little bit wide, kind of like a slot, just because you have to get all this stuff to line up and it's easier to, to get it to line up. If you're a little bit off, the slot helps you. Um, and this is about um, ten and a half, ten and a quarter inches up from the bottom. When marking and drilling the holes, try to be as precise as you can be since they do need to line up between the two buckets. And if they're off vertically, it could make the throne crooked and the seat will lean to the side with the lowest hole. Watch out for the drill bit walking as you start to drill each hole. Hole size will depend on the hardware you have. I bought 3 8 inch thumb screws and wing nuts, so I drilled using the next size up from that. To add the strap for the handle, I tried a few things and found that a long handle works best because the balance of the canister when you're carrying it will vary depending on your gear and how you pack it for transport. So you want to be able to vary where you grab the handle. I cut one slot as wide as the strap, about an inch in my case, and I drilled it, or I cut it about six inches up from the bottom of the outside bucket. Then I threaded the th strap through the slot and out the top of the bucket. And then you pass it through the tubing and use a webbing slider to join the ends and complete a loop. And for the seat, I removed the mounting flange from the seat and used it as a template for marking attachment holes in the bucket lid. So drill those accordingly uh, and screw the seat to the lid using the same hardware that held the flange on. Don't forget to pass a strap between the seat and the lid before you screw it on. So this is the strap that will hold the lid on the bucket during transport. 
Now on the bucket lid, I crammed a quarter inch drip line irrigation tubing uh, into the ceiling channel of the bucket lid so it would not snap on when I sit on it. Um, Cause you know, removing a five gallon bucket lid is really hard without any tools. Um, so instead I added the strap to hold the lid on for carrying. Now I used zip ties to attach a couple plastic strap buckles where the bucket handle ends were. And after loading the canister with gear, you just strap the lid on with the buckles. As far as looks goes, um, I spray painted my inner bucket black because it was really weather beaten. Now for a fresher uh, bucket, like my outer bucket, I'm planning on covering it with merch stickers and old bumper stickers from bands I've played in. I'm sure you have a few of those laying around too. Um, so my entire six-piece percussion rig that you saw me playing at the start packs up into two cases that you can carry in one trip from your car. Although I'll admit the per percussion uh, bag is a bit heavy. And maybe I'll trim it down to a four or five piece to reduce the weight. So there it is. Have drums, will travel. Thanks for watching.